what you're seeing behind me is basically a disused berry patch so it's just something that's been left to go crazy pretty much uh, it's all kind of wild there is a lot of mulch from leaves that have been falling off and stuff like that throughout the years so I'm gonna try and keep most of the mulch on it but uh, you can see behind me here now is I've started cleaning up oh yeah much better <laughs> I've started cleaning up here and uh, I've cut back a lot of these little um, bushes here these raspberry bushes like here I basically cut them back so they're kind of like a crown because if they're going to survive at all they're going to have to be cleaned up and um, I think this is, if you know what that is let me know Today is a good day because I have finally acquired a flame weeder. Now if you don't know what a flame weeder is, it's basically a propane torch that we use to um, kill all the weeds in the garden. It'll make a boring job into a really fun job. So it's essentially a flamethrower, so I'm absolutely delighted as you can imagine. I know it's only a tank of propane, but it's, um, it's a bit scary, so uh, yeah, wish me luck. And this is also a weed block or ground cover so we're going to put this on all the beds I think one meter wide is good enough it'll give me about four and a half inches either side of the bed so I'm hoping this is going to work for me So I've been using the torch here now for about 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, and uh, it's looking pretty good. I have this big section of bed behind me here, you'll see. Um, it's actually looking fairly clear right now, but a while ago it was very green. Like behind me here, you can see this is all green stuff here, and uh, this is what I have for you. I'm delighted, happy days. It's going to turn a really boring job into a really exciting job now, so who doesn't love playing with a flamethrower? So if you decide to use a flame weeder, then you gotta know a few things. Uh, one of those things is you gotta be careful when you're putting everything together, when you're checking all your stops and stuff like that, when you're checking your valves. Um, a good idea is to have a bottle with really soapy water in the close by, and what you do is you pour the soapy water over all the connections, and if you see any bubbles coming out at all, it means you have a loose connection, so you gotta check it out. Also with the weed flamer, you don't actually need to burn or incinerate the stuff that you're actually going over. All you need to do is you need to wait for just the leaves to curl up a little bit and turn a bit brown or yellow and that's completely fine usually like one or two little passes over with the, the torch will probably do it and um, yeah it's working for me so far I'm gonna come back in another few days now and see how well it actually worked out because uh, it takes a few days for it to actually die and that's pretty much the extent of my knowledge but um, yeah so cool 